While students are spending their day wrapping up their classes for this academic year, the University of Oregon is welcoming their new president for next year. This is such a uh, day filled with kind of hope, not only for the University of Oregon, but for the state of Oregon. There's a new leader in town. One of the premier public higher education leaders of our generation. His name is Michael Godfrinson. He was one of about 20 candidates for the job, but state board members say it was clear this man surpassed the rest. I'm not saying uh, the candidate pool was shallow by any stretch of imagination. It was the fact we had one candidate that really fit what we were looking for. Board members say it was an easy decision to come to, unlike the one they had to make back in December. You know, the last vote we had regarding a permanent president was the opposite. It was filled with pain and division, and it was uh, very difficult for all of us. That last vote firing former U of O President Richard LaRiviere, who didn't see eye to eye with the board. Members say this time they found a leader that shares the vision of the Oregon University system. It brings an understanding of how organizations work and how people interact. Members also praise Godfredson for his commitment to making higher education affordable and accessible during his time as provost and executive vice chancellor at UC Irvine. Something they say is a commitment they hope he brings to Oregon, which is why they voted to bring him here to get the job done. In a unanimous vote, Godfredson was appointed as the next U of O president. Feeling greatly honored and enormously enthusiastic. Uh, those remarks were very kind and I appreciate them very much. Uh, and I hope I can live up to those expectations. I certainly intend to do that. Godfredson is appointed for a three-year term, making $540,000 a year. He will start August 1st. In Eugene, Jessica Davis, KZI 9 News.